Hi, Alan Miller here in Sherlock. I want to talk about potty training for a few minutes, and I'm going to go pretty quickly with this, so better pay attention. First of all, don't stray away from the food that you're feeding. Don't start getting into variety with young puppies. If you have a food that's working, stay with it. Start to organize when you feed the food so that you're getting the dog into a habit pattern. Number two, get a crate. Use it. No guilt. Don't feel guilty about using your crate. Number three, anything you put in the crate is a toy. So when you tell me you're going to put your dog, you're going to put your dog's bed in the crate, it's not a bed, it's a dog toy until the dog matures. So be aware of that. Until the dog gets older, I usually just use an old towel or a blanket. Number four is I want you to use a leash. Usually with young puppies, I'll use a piece of rope first, but I'm going to start using a leash to keep the puppy with me. When it's out of the crate, it spends a little bit of time with me and my leash and a target and some toys that I can redirect the dog to if it starts to stray away or become bored. The next step in potty training is going to be putting the puppy on leash so you can take him or her out frequently way more than you think is reasonable. Usually when my dogs are very immature, new to me, instead of using a nice leather leash like this, I'm going to use a piece of rope. This is going to disallow the puppy from getting out in the yard or the area that you want it to go potty on and become too distracted to where it's not outside going potty anymore. It's just playing around and playing keep away with you. Use a leash a lot as a way to keep the dog from being disinterested in listening to you. The surface that you take the puppy to to potty train it on is the surface that generally the dog's going to go on for the rest of its life. If you want that to be pavement, if you want it to be grass, if you want it to be dirt, if you want it to be rocks, if you want it to be bark, that's where you're going to take the puppy out to quite a bit. I don't find it necessary to give the dog food after it goes potty, but it is important to mark the behavior with your voice. Good pee-pee, good poo-poo, good dog, whatever you want to use, good potty, and bring the puppy back inside. Sometimes they'll immediately sneak away and go potty in the house. Once again, you're with me on a leash or on a piece of rope, and I also have a target that I'm reinforcing the puppy to learn to stay on, and this is going to help with stay later on and indoor manners. Along with taking the puppy out frequently, if I cannot keep the puppy with me, on leash in the house, which I prefer to do personally, don't feel guilty about using your crate. The crate is just a babysitter that doesn't allow the dog to learn or perpetuate bad habits. Most dogs will not like going into a crate once they figure out it means I can't be with you every second of the day, which you already know is not reasonable. Sometimes I will use the leash in the collar to force the dog into the crate but not from a mean-spirited perspective, and I'm always going to reward when you go in. So you're going to start teaching the dog some very important words. Sherlock, au pied, Sherlock, enter. Good. Or whatever words you want to use. The equipment comes off once we go into the crate. Make sure it's secure when you leave, and ignore any temper tantrums. Thank you. A lot of the products we demonstrate and use ourselves are linked in the description box below. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, that way you will get notified when we post new content. Thanks for watching.